This is Joe Balestrino, owner and operator of MrSEO.com, and welcome to my video cast. This is the first episode of the Mr. SEO video cast. Uh, many of you know me from my uh, podcast, the Mr. SEO podcast on iTunes. Um, we've grown quite popular um, over the year or so that we've been doing it, and um, we decided to take it to the next level by offering a video cast which makes it easier for us to explain um, certain things in SEO and web development um, that are easier to, to view than to listen to and try on your own. So um, this particular video cast is dedicated to XML sitemaps. Um, Yahoo and MSN uh, recently announced that they were going to accept XML sitemaps. So um, I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you guys how to create one and how to upload it to Yahoo and Google. MSN will not be uh, will not be accepting sitemaps until 2007. So if you're looking on the internet trying to find out where to submit it, you're not going to find it until next year. So you can check the Mr. SEO website for more information on that when that becomes available. We'll let you know. Um, here is the here's a site that I use, um, which is xml-sitemaps.com, and um, the previous page here that you don't see here it just asks you for your URL and the frequent frequency of the updating of the pages, and it, once you hit enter, it will spider your site and it will create uh, sitemaps for you. You can get a um, uncompressed XML sitemap or a compressed XML sitemap. And um, the XML sitemap is pretty simple. You would just download it and save it to your computer. Um, the HTML one is always good to have on your website if you have a website, and um, you know you don't have a sitemap on there already. You should have one, and um, this makes it easier because it it puts everything into an HTML document, so you can just pull the URLs off and put it into your template. And uh, upload it, you know, upload it to your website. It makes it easier for the spiders to find your URLs, and it makes it easier for visitors. Um, some people, um, you know, just um, don't have the time or the patience to navigate through your whole site. So some people may um, go through your site map to to find if you have anything that's um, relevant to what they're looking for. And the text format site map, you used to use it for Yahoo. Uh, it would just be a you know simple txt file and you would just upload it and uh, feed it to Yahoo um, so that they can find all your URLs. So um, here's another tool that I like to use and, and the reason why I like to use it is because when you're working with larger sites, now this isn't a, a very large site at all, um, the, the good thing about this is it lets you, it catches things like here's a 404 um, page cannot be found so it's not going to include it. So that tells me that, okay, there's a problem there, and I may want to check that and make sure if it's dead link to remove it and if it's uh, if it's something that's supposed to be fixed to fix it. And it's also letting me know that um, the home page is the same as the index page, and it's, it's letting me know it's duplicate and it's not including it. It's also telling me there's no descriptions for any of these, which there should be. So um, you may want to check those before submitting your sitemap. And then you know you can set here the filter date, um, filter set if it's weekly, monthly, yearly, hourly, and the priority of the pages. The home page usually has more priority than most pages. Um, so if you know which pages have the higher priority, you can set that here. And then you can also get an XML sitemap, an HTML sitemap, and a text sitemap. Once you do that, you want to be able to upload it to your server. Um, it's not very complicated, and I'm not going to go to in depth uh, here. But you can download this program, which is FileZilla. Um, it's free, and there'll be links into the show notes on the website for it. And basically, all you need to do is just make sure you save your file to your C drive, because if you save it to your desktop, you're not going to be able to access it from here. You save it to your C drive, open it up. And just drag it over to your computer, you know, into your um, root directory of your website. So if you name the file sitemap.xml, then the URL for your sitemap would be www.yoursite.com/sitemap.xml.